सो बेटा वी हैव वन मोर क्वेश्चन विद द नेम ऑफ नेथन एक्रेल एंड दैट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सो नेथन एक्रेल इज अ सोल ट्रेडर हु सक्सेसफुली रन अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बिजनेस सो इफ यू रिमेंबर बेटा वी ऑलरेडी डिड द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस एंड वी लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग अकाउंट फॉर दिस एंड द सेकंड रिक्वायरमेंट इज दैट वी नीड टू प्रिपेयर द प्रोविजन फॉर अनरियलाइज्ड प्रॉफिट अकाउंट फॉर एट मार्क्स सो हाउ कैन वी मेक द प्रोविजन अकाउंट बेटा वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस प्रीवियसली that provision is always credit in nature so the balance brought down must always come on the credit side but if opening balance is coming on the credit side then the closing balance must come on the debit side now whenever bit of factory is charging profit so the entry would be factory uh, manufacturing account would be debited with the factory profit and provision would be credit so provision is credit in nature but the end of the year we need to close this provision account and we need to transfer it to income statement with a value that is known as realized profit this is the profit that has actually been earned by a uh, factory so uh, what do we have with a opening inventory we need for what uh, we need a uh, unrealized profit in the opening inventory let us see how much opening inventory is given here beta opening inventory for finished goods is already given and how much is it it is 58800 and as you can see it's first january 2011 finished goods inventory is given and sir what is the markup or margin percentage that is being given beta production is transferred from factory to sale department at cost plus 40% so beta if we are given the cost plus 40 so therefore the percentage that is being applied on the cost it is always markup percentage okay so uh, we have a markup percentage but the problem is that uh, the finished goods value that is being given in the income statement it's not the cost price instead it is a transfer price so beta what can we apply markup percentage on the transfer price no uh, beta transfer price always needs to be applied a margin percentage but we are being provided a markup percentage now how can we convert a markup into margin beta the formula is markup upon 100 plus markup we have uh, uh, discussed in the previous question as well uh, in the previous class markup upon 100 plus markup so beta the markup that we had was 40% so we need to apply 40 upon 100 plus 40 40 upon 100 plus 40 would be 140 40 upon 140 this is now the margin we have converted a markup into margin and we need to apply it to what 58800 in order to find this unrealized profit so beta unrealized profit in the opening inventory is 16800 so beta what we need to do now we need to ca calculate the closing inventory unrealized profit as you can see closing inventory for finished good is given so ideally we should be applying 40 upon 140 to this value as well but the problem is that this closing inventory of finished goods is not correct and how can i say that uh, by reading this paragraph unfortunately the bookkeeper was taken ill at year end and nathan decided he would have to produce the financial statement himself he did not know how to value the inventory of finished goods at that date uh, therefore he decided to value each unit as the same value that have been used on 1st january so what error did this guy nathan did he valued the closing inventory at the same value of the previous year okay so first of all let us see that how has he calculated how has he reached this value of 72912 let us see beta at the start of the year we had inventory of how much 58800 as we can see and do we have the opening inventory given yes on 1st january beta start of the year how much units were there 1000 unit and at the year end 31st december how many units were there 1240 units so what we did beta what uh, this guy did they, they he divided the value of the opening inventory with 1000 units in order to find the transfer value of each unit now as you can see this year e, uh, sorry previous year that is opening inventory each unit had a transfer price of how much 58.8 so what he did uh, he did applied the 58.8 value to this year closing inventory as well and this year how many units were left at year end these were 1240 units 
So he applied 1240 units with 58.8 in order to find this value 72912, which is not correct. Why it is not correct, beta? Because this is the value of the previous year's inventory. Okay, so previous year manufacturing cost would be something else, and this year it would be uh, else. So how can we find better the correct value of inventory? We can find the correct value of this year by dividing the total market value with the total units. Now let us see beta are we being provided with the total market value. Beta we have already made the manufacturing account and as you can see beta uh, in this question we all we are already done with the part A to prepare the manufacturing account and this year beta manufacturing value or transfer value of finished goods is how much? Seven triple two six zero. So this means uh, this year the total value of iPhones may be uh, which we have sold the outlet. Uh, we have sold it for how much? Seven triple two six zero dollars. And how many phones we have sold them, beta? We have sold them ten thousand three hundred and eighteen units. How many units? Ten thousand three hundred and eighteen units were produced by the factory and transferred to the sales outlet. Okay, sales department. So, but what we need to do, we need to divide this total value of the finished goods with the total units that we have transferred this year. And this gives us the value of $70. Now, as you can see, there's a big difference. Last year, uh, the value that we, the price that we charged, the outlet was $58.8 for each unit. But this year, beta, we have charged how much dollar? We, we have charged $70 per unit. Okay. So what we need to do better, we need to multiply this $70 with the number of units and these are 1240 units. Okay. If we apply 1240 units to $70, we are left with the value of 76,800. Better now this is the correct value of closing inventory and this is basically the transfer value. Again, on the transfer price, uh, the percentage that is applicable on price is not the markup percentage beta instead it's a margin percentage but we are uh, only being provided with the markup percentage that is 40 so what we need to do beta we need to convert this markup into margin and what is the formula for that it would be 40 upon 140 markup upon 100 plus markup 40 upon 140 it is 24,800 okay so beta now we have the opening inventory we have the closing inventory what is the factory profit that the factory has charged to the outlet with a factory profit this year is 206360. We need to write this 206360 in the manufacturing account. And finally, beta, we can find this income statement value. And this income statement value would be what? It will be the realized profit. Now, beta, how can we find this income statement value? It would be uh, found with the balancing figure. Uh, we need to add the bigger side, that is credit side. And the bigger side, beta, would come on both of the sides. And the shorter side would be the realized profit, and this is 198,360. So, beta, this is basically how to prepare this provision account. In this question, uh, it was a bit difficult. Why? Because the closing inventory that was given in the question was not correct. First, uh, we found the correct closing inventory that is transfer value, and then we can uh, find the profit, unrealized profit from that inventory. But the, se uh, the second requirement that we do have. We need to prepare the income statement. So, but first of all, we need to prepare a trading part of the income statement and we need to find the profit from trading. Profit from trading is basically the outlet's profit. And how can we uh, prepare the income statement? But first of all, we start with the revenue and revenue is always for the finished goods. That is the ready iPhones or iPads. Then we have cost of sale. First of all, beta, we have opening inventory. Then the opening inventory would be for finished goods and it would be not the cost price but instead it would be the transfer price then there is a transfer value or market value of finished goods and how can we find that better this is the final answer for part a that is manufacturing account then if there are any purchase of finished goods we must also write these here purchase of finished goods then if we have better closing inventory for uh, finished goods obviously it would also be written as a transfer value then we have cost of sales opening at transfer value then closing cost of sale if we deduct a sales and cost of sale we can get gross profit if we have any other incomes you can add it uh, right now then we are better expenses so instead of writing expenses we are going to change the heading as non-production or non-manufacturing overhead these are the expenses for running the outlet okay 
so the shop and the profit for the shop would be termed as profit from trading now let us see first of all beta we need revenue as you can see he have already prepared something as income statement although it's not correct uh, it contains manufacturing items as well and uh, outlet transactions as well so we need to pick up uh, anything that relates to the outlet and not the factory so revenue is always charged uh, in the income statement revenue is always recorded in the income statement but, uh, uh, then we need the opening inventory uh, opening inventory is already given that uh, we are assuming it's correct because the examiner has not mentioned that nathan has made any mistake in the opening inventory the only mistake that he has done was in the closing inventory then the transfer value of finished goods beta we have already uh, done the a part and a part contained transfer value of finished goods how much seven triple two six zero we are going to write this seven triple two six zero this is the transfer value then the closing inventory beta the closing inventory that is given in the question that is seven two nine one two we just discussed this is not correct why because this is based on the previous year's value and in this year beta the correct value of the closing inventory is eighty six thousand eight hundred and we had how many units 1240 units of this form uh, that is the name of the product and this year uh, transfer price of each unit is 70 dollar so uh, we can find this value 86800 this is the correct transfer value so we always going to write the transfer value and not the cost price so opening at transfer value then closing value would be cost of sale if we deduct sales and cost of sale we can find what we can find the gross profit so beta if we have found the gross profit then we have some non manufacturing over it non manufacturing means any over it that relates to the outlet so let us see do we have any expenses relating to the outlet beta we need anything that is other than factory other than manufacturing manufacturing wages won't be charged uh, neither do supervisor or factory rent yes we are going to write office rent then depreciation should also be relating to office or admin that is depreciation of office then carriage and raw material should not come here uh, anything that relates to the production should not come here anything that is other than factory should come in so there are three types of expenses one is office rent then depreciation of office equipment then admin and selling we are going to charge these expenses here and finally we are going to get the profit from trading so beta profit from trading is basically uh, it's not profit actually it's the loss why because it's coming in the negative value so therefore this year uh, the store our outlet or store has suffered a loss uh, but that doesn't mean that factory must also have uh, uh, suffered a loss so what we need to do beta we need to add the factory realized profit now beta realized factory profit although we have already found out this realized factory profit and this is the value that we have already find out 198 360 we can write this directly sir but what happens if we haven't made this provision account can we find the uh, realized profit directly yes we can do that as well so this is basically the shortcut working if we haven't uh, being required to make a provision account pup <coughs> we can find this value directly so how can we do that first of all beta we are going to start this with factory profit and factory profit we have already found this factory profit uh, uh, with the help of manufacturing account and this is the profit that the factory has charged its outlet this year 206360 and this factory profit 206360 beta needs to be adjusted with a uh, provision for unrealized profit now instead of uh, calculating unrealized profit on opening inventory separately and the closing inventory as well uh, we can just take the difference beta between opening and closing inventory now let us see how much opening inventory for finished goods do we have it's 58800 and it's a transfer price then closing inventory correct value for closing inventory is 86800 if we can find a difference between the two as you can see beta inventory is being increased during the year so if inventory is being increased so is the unrealized profit would also increase okay so beta this uh, is transfer price and on price we are not going to apply the markup percentage that is given in the question instead we are going to convert this markup percentage into the margin and the formula would be 40 upon 140 okay so we need to apply 40 upon 140 on the this value increase in inventory 40 upon 140 so 
we need to find this uh, PUP uh, balance and if we multiply 28,000 with uh, margin percentage that is 41,140, this is 8,000. So this means beta out of the total profit that the factory have charged the outlet this year, that is 206,360, out of the total profit that the factory have charged this year, uh, 8,000 is basically unrealized. So if 8,000 of the profit is unrealized out, the, out of this total, so the realized profit value is beta how much? It is 198,360, okay? Realized value is 198,360. So this is, uh, which should match with this. As you can see, we have already found out this 198,360. So beta, there are two ways to uh, find this realized profit. One is with the shortcut working uh, that we do in the income statement directly. And we'll be doing this working if the examiner has not uh, asked us to prepare this PUP account. But if the examiner has already asked us to prepare PUP account, then if you have already uh, calculated this value, then there is no need to show the workings here. We can just take this value directly. Okay. And this uh, question, as you can see, inventory is increased uh, like in the previous questions as well. But what happens, sir, if the inventory is decreased during the year, then we that uh, this means that we had a uh, more amount of opening inventory than we had in the closing inventory. So in that case, uh, we, instead of deducting this, we are going to add this. So the realized profit would increase. Why? Because the profit that we have charged this year, we have also earned this. And some of the profit that was unrealized previously, because the goods were unsold at the start of the year, those goods also were sold at the end of the year. Okay. So in that case, uh, if the inventory is decreasing, then we can add this in order to find this realized profit. Now, as you can see, factory has earned this much profit this year, but outlet has suffered the loss because outlet's expenses were more than the gross profit that the outlet has made. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to net up both of these value and the loss would be adjusted from the profit. And as you can see, profit is more than the loss. So therefore, it is the overall profit. And what happens, sir, if there is the loss is more than profit, then the final value would also be a loss the final value would also be a loss and last uh, requirement that we do have with in this question we need to prepare what corrected uh, income statement we have made it corrected income statement we need to make corrected sofp for seven marks now as you can see with the sofp is already given in the question uh, there is very slight adjustment in the sofp and we studied previously as well that statement of financial position for a manufacturing business is same that we make for a uh, trading business, the only difference better that we do have is for closing inventory. And uh, in this topic, beta, we have three types of inventory normally, and that is uh, raw material work in progress of finished goods. So, beta, we are going to start with the non current asset part. Now, as you can see, there is no uh, adjustment in the non current asset. We can write this value directly. After non current asset, beta would come current asset. And in that, first of all, we are going to write inventory. And there are three types of inventory here raw material, work in progress of finished goods. But in this question, I guess there is no work in progress. Let us see the manufacturing account. Yes, there is no work in progress. So therefore, we are only going to write what? Raw material and finished goods and not the work in progress. So but a raw material again would be the closing inventory and it's already given 46,400. Uh, but the finished goods value that, that the examiner has given us 72912, uh, uh, we have already done a good debate about it. So uh, this value was incorrect. So we have found beta the correct value of the inventory. First of all, beta, we are going to write the inventory as a, as in transfer price. Uh, but the thing is that uh, after transfer price, beta, we need to adjust one value and that is the unrealized profit. So you must remember uh, with the uh, previous question, the unrealized profit should be deducted uh, from this value and we need to apply 40 upon 140. We have already done this and the closing inventory unrealized profit is 24,800. We already found out this value. Okay. And that is 24,800. Uh, this is the profit of the factory from the goods that are left over at the end of the year with the outlet. So beta, if these goods have not yet been sold by the outlet, so the profit cannot be booked by the company. Okay. So therefore, this profit must be deducted because this is not yet been realized. 
and when will this profit better will be realized when the outlet has actually sold these goods to some outside customers then this profit charged by the factory would be termed as realized so why do we deduct this profit beta because this is an application of prudence concept and prudence says that profit and asset shall not be overstated then beta we have trade receivables and other values are all the same there is no adjustment of whatsoever there as you can see trade receivables is there then the bank is there or uh, and if the cash is there we can also add this as well so beta non current and current asset would give us the total asset after asset comes capital and liability in the accounting equation uh, if you remember the sole trader sfp that we did uh, and the capital value is the same as sole trader here opening capital beta opening capital is already given of the previous year and there is no uh, correction here in the opening capital then we need to add profit for the year beta profit uh, we already made the revised income statement the profit that is given in the draft sfp is not correct and we have already made the corrected income statement and the final profit that is overall profit that is the profit of, of the outlet and the profit and loss of the factory the both of these should be added and this is the overall profit that must be taken over to uh, what sfp so beta profit increases a capital and then we have drawings and there is no adjustment in the drawings as well as you can see beta drawing is already given as 80000 so beta opening capital at profit less drawing this would be the closing capital value uh, assets are done capital and done and finally beta we have liabilities we have non current liabilities and current liability so beta what uh, non current or current liabilities we do have we don't have any non current liabilities such as loan there is only one current liability with the name of trade payable as you can see uh, there is no difference in the sfp only difference is that of the inventory and here the, we have normally three types of inventory raw material work in progress raw material and work in progress would be written directly the values that are given in the question the only adjustment that needs to be done is in the finished goods and in the finished goods we need to deduct the unrealized profit and there is bit a last requirement in that and this will end our the entire topic for manufacturing account explain your treatment of finished goods in the inventory valuation so what we did here we just need to explain it and the explanation is that that uh, factory profit should be removed from the closing inventory value because this profit has not yet been realized so let us write this factory profit needs to be removed from what items of inventory finished goods because it has not yet been earned it has not yet been realized and what is uh, this application of and this is an application of prudence concept it is an application of prudence concept and what does prudence says prudence concept states that beta profits and assets shall not be overstated profits and assets shall not be overstated so by deducting this profit we are complying with the prudence concept